All right, this episode is going to be a little different. We're going to take a look a couple of high voltage battery modules from Toyota. All right, we're going to open it, we're going to see inside, and I am going to show you why you cannot bring them back to life, especially when you recondition it. Like, remember, when you recondition those batteries, you bring it back to life, but just temporarily, but immediately they begin to die pretty fast. So, stay tuned and we will continue. I'll show you what's going on. All right, yes, uh, well, we're here in the back of the of the shop because I'm gonna work with these modules and this is a delicate work what we're gonna do. We have a normal module, which is not so bad condition, it's like decent, and we have a very bad module, which is uh, extremely swollen, but forever, okay? So the first thing is, like when you recondition in the hybrid batteries, you bring it back to life but it's always temporary fix you don't really fix it now why well remember that as a battery you need an anode and a cathode and with an electrolyte be between right but the thing is that electrolyte in order to allow the electrons to move all right in time especially if you overheat your battery like for example this one that is very much swollen all right you crystallize the material inside and then it's when you begin to have high internal resistance but we want to see that all right and the other thing is that bringing back to life in the only way to do it you will need to rehydrate the battery the module specifically because in order to allow that electrolytes to move you need an you need an acid which in time these modules lose it the thing is have you seen when you're taking your battery apart after a long time you have a, br a blue or green sugar there a very very corrosive material well where do you think that comes from that is the acid inside that leaks out in time because remember it's a high current flow of electrons the acid passes within all right not in a big quantity but in time the same thing happened to your car how many chassis connector you have seen corroded with the sugar where do you think that comes from that comes from inside your lead acid battery you don't believe me all right let's open it up and I'll show you okay as you can see this is a very delicate procedure so what I'm gonna do is Okay, I'm gonna use this. Let me see. Yes, I have it here. Give me a second. As I said, this is very delicate. But I'm not gonna show you how I open it. I'm just gonna open it. Because I need protection to do this. Then, let me open it and I'll show you. Okay? By the way, do not do this at home. This is very delicate. We're talking about very, very corrosive acid. Alright? So be careful. Just doing this for educational purposes. Let me continue. Personal protective equipment and let me get the glasses. Once I open it, I will show you. Don't worry, we will discover the very truth about these hybrid battery modules, right? So stay tuned, we will continue then. Hi again. All right, both modules are open. I don't know if you guys remember, I'm making this comment in previous videos that when you buy in, like for example, if you're buying use uh, modules, all right, if you see them swollen, don't buy it. When it comes to swollen, it's because they were gassing, they were overheated, the electrolytes crystallized, and then of course, high internal resistance. The other thing is, for a module, for a battery to work, for the electrons to flow from one uh, from the anode through cathode from a pole to a pole they need um, let's call it a highway and that highway those electrons uh, in the case of these batteries 
they use that acid as an electrolyte okay so what happens in time in time when those batteries overheat okay they begin to expand they begin to gas and also remember again what I was telling you guys about that sugar corrosion yes, that's the acid leak, 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 leaking out traveling through the um, cables indeed actually in some of the modules one of the these the voltage sensor monitoring right I have seen them fully corroded so where do you think that come from that's the corrosive acid inside the, the, the module now the thing is let me show you okay this is a normal module all right I open it I, I completely open it as you can see we have the positive pole and the negative pole all right these are these the individual cells all right Give me a second all right we got light so as I said they need an electrolyte to smoothly flow let the electrons flow once again those electrolytes it's acid and if the acid leaks out or if the acid solid gets solid or crystallized the battery will swell and it will stay swollen forever now when you see the battery swollen because they're hot it's because they're gassing they're supposed to uh, unswell fast all right they're supposed to get to the normal shape after they cool down but if they if they stain completely swell after they cool don't buy it. so what I'm saying again one two three four five and six cells remember these are connected in series so as I said for the the electrons to flow smoothly they need an electrolyte what happens if that electrolyte leaks out I'm talking about battery acid so you don't believe me these batteries use acid inside now look do you remember the problem with the modules in the middle are the one who suffer the most why am I having acid leaking out just from these two cells and look at the ones in the middle are completely dry of course this module is in bad condition but look you know what's that it's battery acid uh, period <laughs> okay now I'm saying this because if you see somebody there telling you that bring me your cell I can bring it back to life by just reconditioning by cycling the battery he is lying the only way to bring this mod back to life is rehydrate the module leak out the acid and put back the new acid at the same level so the electrolytes will freely flow I hope you're following what I'm saying let's call the acid as the electrolyte the same thing as the acid in your 12 volt battery is exactly the same what happens in time your chassis connections get corroded your negative poles get corroded that is the acid leaking out so in years the battery will go bad so you could restore it yes how will you restore a battery you have to take it apart you have to fully clean it and put a brand new acid that is the one that acts as the electrolyte okay exactly the same principle in this battery so look once again let me keep shaking it because I want the acid go out this module is in real bad condition as you can see this module is a real 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 bad condition okay although it's not swollen it just simply leak out the acid and the cells in the middle look completely dry but this one not and this one not and that is exactly how a cell goes back now let me show you this one is very interesting look at this it's <laughs> it's super swollen oh it's a long it's a long video this one now look 
Look at the difference between a swollen and a non-swollen. There you go. Now, why do you think these modules are swollen? But very much, look at the difference, it's incredible, look. You can even see some bellies. And the battery is completely cool. Actually, this is an old cell in very bad condition. But I took apart one of these cells of the swollen battery. And look what happened. Look, completely dry the layers. And where the acid is supposed to be, it's totally burned out and crystallized. Which of course, if you have a highway to flow, it's lubricated, in this case the acid, you will flow, you will freely flow and travel into those electrolytes. But in this case, it doesn't have any. So because it doesn't have any acid, it begins to overheat and it begins to swell and burn out. It's a lot of carbon over there. I'm touching it with my hand because it's completely dry. But here's the thing. Once again, what happens if the acid leaks out? What if that's going to cause? Well, the current is still going to flow, but with a lot of resistance. So that is these, with no acid, the current is not going to flow smoothly. That causes resistance. Resistance takes to what? Current, more current, voltage drop, and of course it's going to overheat and finally burn your battery. This is like the one of the biggest explanation about these battery cells that you might be looking for, okay? Once again, we are killing the myth that the only way to bring back to life one of these modules is rehydrate. There's no other way. Whoever comes and tells you that just by cycling a bad, wait, hold it, hold it. I'm talking about a bad battery. Don't confuse me. If you do that to a good battery, yes, some sort of the, some of these cells will discharge faster than another. And then of course, yes, of course, you, by cycling, you will rebalance them. But bringing it back to life when it comes to whole capacity don't let anybody fool you. These are facts. These batteries use acid. I am saying this and I'm showing you everything because some of the haters and some people say that those are dry batteries. It doesn't use acid. You're crazy. It's because they don't know. That is the reason why I'm showing you this. And this is the third masterclass lesson which is just understanding the battery modules inside okay so I hope you guys understand why you shouldn't buy a foreign new cell that it's uh, swollen a swollen battery module is in bad condition all right don't buy it the batteries must match the frame with your own hands if don't do this like if you're pulling it with the belt or stepping on it <laughs> you don't want to do that <laughs> okay guys so i don't want to extend myself anymore i want just wanted to give you a an in-depth explanation of this simple process but what happens if i get this module and rehydrate it clean it up and rehydrate with acid you know what's going to happen yes i will bring it back to life but then i'm going to have to weld this back and this gets overheat and they can explode so definitely don't do that, all right? Just when you have this, a battery module, which is swollen with lost capacity, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. The only way to bring it back to life is rehydrate. That's not gonna happen. And, and you don't know if it's burned, you don't know how the internal resistance of these cells is. You can only measure the internal resistance of the overall module. So don't waste your time, okay? So I hope you guys liked this video. It was not so excited. It was just more a little about knowledge. I'll see you guys in the very next episode. Hybrid Solution Diagnostic is a channel made for you. So please like and subscribe. Hit that red button over there. I'll see you in the next episode.
拜拜。